Today we're going to break down the movie uh, Men in Black, and we're going to do so looking through a conspiracy lens to have a little fun. Also, as a side note, if this movie was not a comedy, I don't think it would have gotten as much attention. And if it didn't have Will Smith in it, I don't think it would be as mainstream as it was. And let's get right into it. Greetings. This analysis will be a bit different today. If you're new here, don't take anything too serious or as a fact. And if you disagree or have a different opinion, then please share it in the comments below. Without further wait, let's begin. The scene opens up with stars and bugs, as though to give us a comparison with our position in the universe. As quickly as we come in, our life quickly runs out. We are all here for just a moment, and it's gone in a flash. Wandering through our individual lives, hopelessly attempting to make sense of it all. Days and nights pass, evading danger the best we can, and finding work so we're able to eat another day. And as important as we are to the people we love, we are a mere smear on the windshield of a more advanced species. Life will carry on, with or without us. The scene changes, and we are put into a unique situation. A man is carrying quote-unquote illegal aliens who are undocumented crossing the border. Roadblock up ahead. Remember that eight represents the eight days of the year when the veil between worlds is the thinnest. Pizza also has eight slices. Hmm, wait a minute. Briefly, we see 375 on the sign. 375 is a highway loop right outside El Paso, Texas, near the city of Juarez. 375, when viewed with Gematria, comes out to 15. 3 plus 7 equals 10, plus 5 equals 15. 1 plus 5 equals 6. Can be used interchangeably with 9. 69 can also represent a portal or a gateway. Police are just going about their routine check when two men in a black car and suit arrive. Anytime there is a cryptid encounter, these guys show up. They're not very far behind. They address each other with letters instead of names. Part of INS Division 6. Remember, six from a moment ago doesn't allow further dialogue on who they are. As he interacts with each human, he is checking for animation in their bodies and soul in the eyes. Remember, the eyes are the window to the soul. When this individual lacks the animation in the body and exhibits a lack of emotion for the situation, it's a dead giveaway. After Agent K finds who he suspects, then he allows the rest of the people to leave so that he can handle the interaction privately. When he is stopped by the officer, he immediately snaps and says, Sir, you can't just- Don't. Sir, me, young man, you have no idea who you're dealing with. Makes a true comment dismissed as racism. Other species out there are intentionally hostile to human. Once in private, and the true form is revealed. It turns out Agent K personally knows this humanoid. On a side note, before this next scene, observe that Agent K and Agent D are alone with the flipper humanoid. They are in their own bubble, and on the same page that aliens exist, can interact and communicate with them, etc. They are not stunned to see Mikey's true form. Then, the police officer intrudes on their conversation uninvited. Mikey did not allow the officer to see his true form. Then, Mikey becomes aggressive, because Mikey only agreed to show himself to agents K and D. He was unintentionally seen, so he must kill to contain the information. Agent D is armed and expected to neutralize Mikey, as to not incur a loss of civilian life they have to account for. His his gun malfunctions, and so Agent K must use his weapon to neutralize the threat quickly. Normal firearms that modern civilians have access to can definitely kill these things, but it takes a lot more ammo. This is not the case with Agent K's gun. After the humanoid Mikey is neutralized, cleanup and containment begins. Even after Agent K shoots Mikey, you can see that he really didn't want to. Just because Mikey was an alien does not mean we just go around and eradicate other species. Can we take a moment to recognize the actor who played this head officer? He screamed for about seven seconds straight without changing the tone up or down. Pretty impressive. The reaction of the officer is usually what happens to people that have an encounter with a cryptid after being told their whole life that monsters are not real. When fairy tales, myths, and legends smash into reality and shatter your notion of what is real. It's a pretty traumatizing event. The other members of the police unit show up to assist. Agent K is controlling the situation and says he will tell you what happened. This statement can be taken literally. They will tell you what you experienced. They will tell you the story to tell your friends and family. Then backup for the agents show up in numbers and with technology to contain the situation. They have an antenna on top of their van so they were probably notified to move in when Agent K discharged his firearm or when Mikey died. These cryptids are sometimes referred to as assets. As the scene rolls on, we see five symbols on the side of the truck. My interpretation of them are 1. The Eye of Sauron. They have the tech to know where these things are all the time. 2. Nuclear. Radiation side effects. 3. A lightning bolt. They're an elite unit. They go in and out, as above, so below, gone in a flash. Four, quarantine, biological containment. Five, incineration, 
hide the evidence, again, containment. The men in black use advanced techniques and equipment to quickly end all discussion and destroy all traces of evidence. The witnesses are told what happened, and then everyone is free to go. They already have a cover story. Makes a comment that humans are a gullible breed. Is he including himself? In this example, he is saying a gas line was ruptured and exploded, then provides evidence while containing panic. Tells him to get checked out with the EMS. Why? Are fluids of some of these cryptids toxic? The spirit is willing to continue to keep fighting, but the physical body will eventually age and give out. Agent D looks up at the stars and says how beautiful they are. That we never stop to just look and admire the natural world around us. A lot more is going on than we think. Agent D says he will miss the chase, or simply put, he will miss feeling alive. Now, he's just existing. Sadly, and unfortunately, once an agent has run their course for the men in black, they're disposed of, and a replacement is sought out. Unfortunately, after doing something like this for a living, you can't just return to civilian life. And that'll be it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like the video, leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Make sure you're subscribed, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.